When I came here, I never wanted to be a chef. A celebrity chef? Mm, no. I just want to get the food from all my children, feed them, and have the roof for them. That's all I wish. For nearly six decades, Chef Helene An's hands have been the instruments that conduct a symphony of Vietnamese taste and tradition. So much so that the Smithsonian recognized her as a pioneer of Vietnamese fusion cuisine. You're almost 80 years old. Yes. And you're still here in the restaurant every single day. Yes. So, Chef Helene, you're still training every cook yes. who comes into the restaurant yes. after all these years? On this year. Chef Helene says her restaurant empire, soon to be a global brand, wasn't supposed to be. She expected to live her life of wealth and privilege in Vietnam. That all ended when communists took over the country in 1975. In Saigon's last hours, nearly a thousand Americans and several thousand Vietnamese were airlifted out. Chef Helene's daughter, Elizabeth, who was nine years old at the time, remembers becoming a refugee with her mother and sisters, Hannah and Monique. I knew something bad was happening because there's all these people all over, crying, screaming, you know, children looking for their mom and wives looking for their husband. And then, sorry, and then coming to, to the refugee camp, all of a sudden, you know, my father wasn't with us. He was still missing in action. He was in the Air Force. And at that time, he was still fighting in the war. Helene's husband, Danny, was reunited with his family at a refugee camp in the Philippines, and they all made their way to San Francisco in 1975. What do you remember about that experience? We lost everything. And we have only one apartment to stay with uh, seven people. So I said myself, I have to work hard now. A few years earlier, Chef Helene's mother-in-law, Diana, had purchased a small Italian deli there that would become the cornerstone of the family business, starting with a simple dish of noodles. So the garlic noodles, one of the most famous dishes on the menu here, is partially because you were exposed to Italian culture in San Francisco, but also because you were a, a student of Eastern medicine. Yeah, so I think that I had to create something that I think is healthy for people. Daughter Catherine Ahn says they passed the family taste test. We loved it, and she was like, okay, if my kids approve it, then it's going on the menu. I think her food is just very refined, light, and at the end of the day, easy to eat. The 24-seat Italian deli eventually became a Vietnamese restaurant, Ton Long. So like mom always says, you know, I find it ironic that I worked all my life so all of you kids could do everything but the restaurant. Now, why do you guys all choose to come back? We all did. Yeah, yeah. we all did that. The family of now five daughters then created five more restaurants. With the celebrity favorites, Crustacean San Francisco and Beverly Hills. On the day we visited, we ran into Vivica Fox. I love you back. <laughs> is it true that there's a secret entrance for celebrities here? There is. There, there, is. Is. there is. There is. It turns out there's an even more important secret. What's the deal with the secret kitchen? It's a kitchen within a kitchen. Nobody sees in, nobody sees out. You only see the noodles coming in and out. Wait, who's in? <laughs> so it's mom and it's uh, chefs that work with us. Are you there, chef? Yeah. Is this as much as, I, this is as, much as I'm going to get? And she's gone. At the end of the day, the chef who just wanted to feed her own children is now mama on to everyone. You have a secret entrance, you have a secret kitchen. What is the secret to your success? Uh, working hard and you always think about the people and how you can make the people happy. Here's the deal, guys. They only let people in that secret kitchen if you've worked for her for over 10 years or you're a member of the family. Wow. And like all restaurants, wow. the pandemic hit the family business really hard, but there's a huge silver lining. Chef and Lean finally allowed this famous dish to become an item to take home. Oh. Nudes, as in N-O-O-D-S. The garlic noodles to go. It became so popular. You probably, you, you were probably going to see it in grocery this stores. This is oh, unbelievable. Listen. I mean, as simple as it is, but it's that sauce, whatever that secret is. They wouldn't tell me. It's amazing. It's so mm. good. It's like garlic, even sweet. Mm. This is, I could mm. eat this whole bowl, like, now. Well, maybe I will during I a did. commercial. Okay. Thank this you, Chef. Great. Thank you for sharing their story with us. That amazing. was good. Yeah.